Ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you that you can literally turn any boat that you've ever built before, the most beautiful creations you have ever made, into actually some of the best gold grinders in the game, okay, guys? With the recent new update, that is totally possible. And I will show you how to do it, when to do it, what to do it, all in this video. But guys, something that you should do is subscribe, because apparently 70.3% of you guys still yet aren't. What's wrong with you? So guys, as you can see right here, I just have myself a little bit of a little beautiful little boat right here. This is actually the original build about both, and this is pretty much what I'm going to be using to show you guys. So pretty much going to hop in my chair. I mean, nothing too weird about any of this, right? I mean, it's just, it's just a boat. And guys, what you will quickly see is that there is something slightly different. I mean, I sink slightly into the water. The only reason I did that is because it's a cool new feature, and I think it looks really nice. But and actually, as you can see right here, I can start firing it up, boys. I can start going pretty fast. Guys, what is very different about this all is how I'm not hitting a single rock. Every single rock breaking before my very eyes, before I can even collide with it for it to slow me down. I mean, as you can see right here, we are actually using our boat now, grind gold, and it's going about as fast as every single other gold grinder ever made. I will say that this is probably the worst <laughs> worst boat to ever do this with because it's super weak. As you can see, the boat itself is completely disintegrated by now, but I mean, hey, there's that here. Let me just fly over this part right here so that way I don't completely lose it. But guys, as you can see, we are already at the end and our beautiful boat has made it. And it's honestly just a very satisfying feeling to have your actually nice boat made it to the end. I mean, we got gold block, maximum gold. There's nothing more that we could want. Guys, I have another version of this right here. Kind of show you guys how this exactly works. Delete that and use all metal instead. I was testing, okay? I was doing tests. Oh. So guys, as you can see right here, the way we are actually doing this is by using ourselves a bit of a uh, an invisible can't collide plate. So guys, the actual parts in the stages still get hit by this. So this is pretty much like having a perfect force field. It's the only way I can explain it. It just doesn't look like crap because obviously I can just turn off the transparency completely. I mean, I can make it completely invisible and you can't even tell that it's there. Also, guys, I've added a little bit of a special, you know, protection box around the player that you can totally walk through. And as you can see, you make totally invisible and like it's not even there. I mean, the player is completely safe. As well as that, there's a very co complicated, cool way to place the place the thrusters to make this all come together. But guys, before we actually talk about any of that, I want to give a major shout out to my friend Snoopingas, guys. He's actually the guy that pretty much, I mean, I was messing around trying to do this. I just could not do it. And he is the guy that pretty much made everything come together and explained to me how to actually do this. Guys, please subscribe to his channel. There will be a link in the description, okay? So yeah, guys, as you can see right here, I mean, I, I kind of took, took all the smoke and mirrors away uh, with this one because you can literally see exactly where the part is. And as you can see, as I'm speeding through this, I mean, that part is just simply breaking every single thing for me. I mean, it is honestly just kind of nice. I mean, honestly, kind of nice to not have to die. <laughs> like, I like not dying. Do you? So guys, you might think to yourself, Jesse, this, uh, this looks really expensive and this looks really insane. But guys, what I will say is that most people have around like 2,000 metal just laying around at most times just because i mean it's such an easy material to get i mean from grinding gold in general you're gonna get yourself so much metal if you're gonna just keep buying the most expensive chest i mean literally out of this chest right here if i buy this thing right now yeah as you can see right there i just already got a ton of metal like that's just how it goes okay as well as that you could totally use multiple different blocks i mean it doesn't matter what block you're using it just as long as you're using a block right guys i currently lost about half my thrusters which kind of made this whole thing go crazy but yeah as you can see we're at the end already and we're doing great <laughs> boom golden block maximum gold what else could you want <laughs> so yeah guys let me actually show you how to build this because it's actually a lot more simple and straightforward than you might think it is so pretty much let me just assume that this little platform right here is going to be your boat i will actually explain how to do this with a boat in a second but i'll just first start off with this okay but this is my platform real quick right here and actually generally speaking you want to make sure that this is kind of about as close to the center of the build plot in this length as you can so pretty much uh, what i did right here then all i'm going to do right now is i'm actually going to make a block right here that is slightly bigger than uh the, the, what you call it then the, the first platform that is actually used like this block needs to be built from the strongest blocks i have and i should want to see i want to stretch this out all the way like this and you want to try to put the center of this platform and the center of this platform as close together as you can so you can actually make this thicker if you want i mean you don't have to but you can i guess but for now i'm just going to leave it kind of slim just so that way you guys can see how to do it even if you don't have that many blocks so guys the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm actually going to build a protective box for the actual platform itself so as you can see right here this is the platform that we're working with right now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just build a large block box over it like this and i'm actually going to make this collision off and i'm actually going to make it almost fully transparent just so you guys can still see it's there for the tutorial actually i'm going to do the same with this platform right here i'm just not going to make it can't collide because apparently when you connect can't collide parts with the ground it can create a little bit of funkiness so guys we're every single time before we ready up we're going to have to can't collide this part the next up guys the rest of this is actually going to be super simple so pretty much uh, we're going to change our rotation to 15 in the advanced building menu the way you get this is by clicking the plus over there so we're going to we're going to want to place 
our thrusters to be rotated in 15 degrees towards the middle. So guys, as you can see, it's not perfectly straight. It is slightly rotated in. As you can see right like that. I mean, it should be pretty easy to understand. I mean, you're going to just have to keep rotating until you kind of find the right rotation. So you pretty much go with 90s. And then uh, let's say I'm like this. I'm going to go one more time and then I got the right rotation. Or I'm going to rotate like this and I'm going to rotate five times more to get it exactly like that. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. As you can see. So guys, we want to make sure that these are placed very close together like this. Oh, we're not very close together. What am I saying? These are placed in, placed in the exact same position. So guys, as you can see right here, it's slightly over the edge. Here, it's also slightly over the edge. And I mean, it's the same direction as there. So guys, these need to be perfectly even. Then guys, this isn't necessary, but you can also place a second one on top of the already pre previously placed one. Oomph to it. You know what I mean? Oh, then guys, all we need to finish this up is place a single chair, a controllable chair, of course. I'm actually going to place a, a chair for my friend Dino right here because uh, he joined the server just now. <laughs> and that should be everything completed. So guys, if I ready up the water now, before I do that, I actually have to click that part and turn off the collision and then ready up the water. As you can see right here, this is pretty much the whole thing done. And as you guys can see right here, we are going to start breezing through the water. And this is actually so nice. Oh, I mean, this is dope. I mean, this is sick, isn't it? Like we're going fast. I mean, we're not going any slower, if not very little slower than most other traditional grinding glitches. Guys, like I said, the next thing I'm going to explain to you is how you can actually make almost any boat of yours into this grind. I mean, it is really, really nice. Dino is like, wow. <laughs> Me and him were actually trying to do this last night and we could not do it, guys. And that's where Snoop came in and just literally pretty much came in for the kill and just got this all done in like 10 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Maximum gold once more. I mean, it's literally perfect. <laughs> so yeah, guys, the build that I'm actually going to be trying to explain this with is going to be, let's see right here. Let's find one that I like. Here, I made this micro block boat. I like this one. I think we should be fine even using this one, guys. As you can see, it's not perfectly symmetrical. I mean, this whole thing is all when micro blocks first came out and it's really not perfect. So I'm going to modify this build right here to work with these current changes. So guys, this is actually a micro block version of the build about original boat. So yeah, here, I'm going to select all guys and I'm going to turn off collision. As you can see right there, collision off. As you can see, we can now literally jump through the whole thing like there's nothing there. <laughs> the next up, guys, we're going to grab a relatively strong block uh, like metal or gold or whatever it is that you have at, at hand pretty much. And from here, guys, we're going to want to create pretty much the same thing as we did earlier. So uh, what I'm actually going to do, guys, the way I'm going to make sure that this is perfectly in the center is I'm going to use the little bubbles from the skill tool. As you can see right there, uh, it's about perfect. If you don't have the skill tool, you don't need it. It makes it easier though. But yeah, uh, for sure, you don't need it. You can also just do this by being smart and using your actual brain. So yeah, guys, build a little bit of a big platform. I'm actually gonna, you know, re-add in the floor, as you can see right there. Currently, the floor was completely ruined and now the floor is added back in pretty much. So guys, this part right here, I'm gonna make 75% transparent for now. I'll make it 100% transparent later, but just for the tutorial so you guys can see what I'm doing. The next step, guys, all the way in the center at the bottom, we're gonna place a block like this and we're gonna scale it halfway down. So guys, what's gonna happen is that everything down here is gonna fall into the water, including this part right here. So uh, yeah, that's what we want to do. We want it to be halfway in the water, halfway above the water. Then we're going to just scale this thing nice and big. And there's one very important thing, guys, and I will mention it to you right now. We want to once again try to make sure that this center piece is as close to the real center as we can, okay? If we don't do that, some bad things can happen, okay? <laughs> so yeah, we're pretty close, but now you don't have to be perfect. So yeah, guys, once again, we now have two parts right here. And we're already starting to look, I mean, actually, this part right here needs to be uh, collision off. Collision off. Whoop! We can now jump through it. Perfect. So guys, what we're going to do next up is we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier with the thrusters, guys. And then pretty much we're going to just go into here and we're going to have to go and do a bunch of rotations to get the right placement. Four, five. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So then we're going to actually place two because we got, we like that little bit of extra oomph. And as you guys can see, if I would actually make these parts that you currently can see 100% transparent, there wouldn't be a different from the difference from the actual real boat. Okay, so I'm going to sit in this chair right now and I will actually show you exactly uh, what can happen sometimes. Why did the current tools, the, the new tool is maybe a little bit broken sometimes. Let's just say that. Um, <laughs> there's actually ways that you can fix this, guys, if you're having issues with this. So let me explain to you guys how to do that if you're having issues like I just had. <laughs> so let me reload the whole thing. One way that you can actually fix this, guys, if you select all and then you, do, you know, go into the collision and make sure that everything is collision on. There you go. Now, every part here should be collidable. Is it? Or is the game being weird again? <laughs> the game is being weird again. Great. So guys, just in my case this time, it actually got completely fixed by uh, just loading it back in. Uh, I don't know why, uh, but apparently that totally fixed it. So yeah, guys, as you can see, uh, it's pretty random. So don't be too discouraged. Okay, you want to just kind of mess around. You maybe want to try around with all the different tools and settings and all those things to kind of make it work and fix, you know? Oh my God, Dino. Oh, Dino, Dino, you took the chair. Oh, okay, he scared me there for a second. All right, let's go. <laughs> so yeah, guys, as you can see right here, our boat has now been pretty much perfectly turned into a gold grinder from just being pretty much useless. I mean, I haven't used this boat in a long time and I could now totally use this boat as my uh, main gold grinder because it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a good gold grinder and it's actually a really fun one because you're going through the stages. You're still dealing with some of the risk. I actually, 
By the way, guys, for the record, I forgot to place a giant block of uncollidable metal or gold or anything above my head to keep me safe. So guys, it's not a necessity, but I highly recommend it uh, because it's going to make everything a little bit more safe. Because we like safety out here on the Jesse DC channel. We do not like dying, brother. But guys, as you can see, as our boat is actually taking damage and getting slowly but surely nuked, we are actually not really having to deal with many of the consequences of that because our actually actual real boat is pretty much just these two blocks right here. Uh, so what we're almost doing in a way is we're creating a dummy boat, trick the game, and our real boat is just for show and it's just for fun. Like, it's just something that we can actually have fun with now again, which is actually really exciting. Like, I almost wish that this has been in the game for a very long, long, longer, so to say. For a very long time longer. I mean, like you can see right here, maximum gold. Boom, clap. Guys, if you actually wanted to use this same kind of idea and trick to actually mess with all of your friends and actually kind of troll them, what you could totally do is you could place a single chair like this. <laughs> actually, wait, I recommend placing a block and a chair just to make, make sure you have a little bit more security, so to say, like one extra block. Uh, you could totally do this exact same technique and uh, totally trick your friends. So uh, all I would have to do is make sure that I have a giant block over my head like this. And the most important thing, guys, especially if you're going to be building it this uh, big or uh, this small, like the actual build itself this small, it's going to be very important to make sure that you are always in the center of mass, so to say, which is like making sure that the, the center is your actual block. <laughs> so guys, if I ready up the water right now, oh, I forgot to make it cons collide. I'm an idiot. Yeah, if I reset real quick, <gasps> I can save it. Can I? I think I should be able to save it. Wait, actually, yeah, I can save it. Here, look. If I click select all and just make it anchored, I can just make it anchored right there. <laughs> all right, guys, let's save this build. <laughs> Let me hop on the chair. Boop, oh, boop. Oh, can this chair work, please? There we go. <laughs> and then select all and everything unanchored. There we go, guys. <laughs> so as you can see, you could totally just have a single block disguised by like a gigantic honk of metal and actually be safe. So guys, I'm pretty sure we're going to make it to the end this time, uh, even though we only have a single block of protection, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, guys, if you want to bet your friend like, hey, bro, want to bet that I can get to the end and build a boat while sitting on only one block? Like you see what I did there, right? Because we're sitting on only one block, yet we have a thousand blocks protecting us. Uh, give me five dollars or something you could totally do that you could totally trick your friends good it's good little good good little party trick you know i mean look at that i mean the blocks are literally breaking in front of me <laughs> oh you know really uh do love uh, these difficult days in build about where uh you know i have to get to the end using only a single block but you know what I you know what i love even more if you subscribe to the channel right now and also guys subscribe to snoopingas for helping us actually create this thing uh to be as perfect as it is right now because guys i was not able to think of that myself okay <laughs> so guys hope you all had a fun time with me today i hope you'll check in for the next video you know because it's gonna be sick guys see you on the next one boys <gasps> actually i want to see if it gets to the end i'll wait i'll just okay time lapse ten thousand speed Bleah. oh my god what I was, i've just been on my phone boys um i'm just standing on the water at this point i don't know what just happened um okay um i don't know if i'm gonna be able to survive this um <laughs> i hope you all have a fun time man i'll see you later peace <laughs>